Happy Thursday, everybody of the Sprang Garcia, Meteorologist, National Weather Service, San Francisco Bay Area, Monterey Bay Regents, here with your winter season 2023-2024 seasonal outlook update. This is your late January update, so let's hop right to it. We're going to look at uh, the winter thus far, drought conditions, El Nino Southern Oscillation, the remainder of winter, and some a look back at climate disasters in 2023. So this is the water year to date graph there on the left. That means the water year October 1st through the January 23rd is when I pulled this, uh, what this graphic goes through. So October 1st through January 23rd, this is how this year compares to normal. And you see a lot of 80, 90, 100 and 100 plus percent areas in our service area. So we're doing pretty good on the water in our area for sure this season. And some areas we've done so good, it's actually been uh, problematic. And you can see that there on the image on the right uh, from the ABC7 who was up there looking at Fife Creek in Sonoma County last weekend as that flooded over. Drought condition wise, because we have so much water from last year and this year now, uh, we definitely don't have a drought in our area. And last year, this time that graph on the right, we were digging ourselves out of a drought due to a major winter last year. Looking forward for the drought outlook, this goes through the end of April. You can see California there is a big blank, which uh, equates to no drought. We're not going to go into a drought. We don't need to come out of a drought. So it's just big blank there. El Nino Southern Oscillation, check this out. You can see this black dot here on the upper left. That is an observation point from October, November, December, that three month average uh, uh, observation point there in the ENSO region. And then this gray square here, that's the December observation. We were up to two degrees Celsius above normal. That means a strong El Nino. But it looks like we've peaked out and looks like we're going to start to slide out of El Nino, but we won't come out of El Nino until we get to March, April, May, April, May, June, somewhere in there, maybe even May, June, July. So uh, we're going to be in El Nino for the rest of winter. And as just a quick reminder, uh, this is what a quote unquote typical, and I throw that in quotes, typical El Nino pattern looks like across the U.S. Uh, in terms of the weather patterns. Remember, there are intra-seasonal variabilities that can shift this around, but if you blur your eyes in some El Nino patterns, this is typically what it looks like. So looking at the monthly outlook for February, there on the left, you see that the Bay Area and Central Coast have a higher probability of being above normal for temperature. And there, the graphic on the right, we have a higher probability of being above normal for precipitation as well. Though North Bay, you're right on the edge there of that above normal and equal chances. Looking at the seasonal outlook, so this is February, March, April, averaged over that time frame. Higher probability of being above normal for temperature, it doesn't mean we won't have cold snaps because we will, but this just means when it's averaged out over those three months that we have a higher probability of seeing above normal for temperature in that time frame. And you can see the bullseye for precipitation has shifted south. So it's really kind of just the central coast Monterey Bay region that is on the cusp of a higher probability of being above normal for precipitation. The rest of the Bay Area falls in equal chances, uh, which just simply means that there's no really definitive um, guidance from any of our, our medium and long range models that show one way or another. So it's equal chances in that realm. By the time we get into March, April, May, coming out of El Nino, uh, you can see that the higher probability above normal for temperature has started to creep upward, has started to pull up towards the northwest, and we end up in equal chances for precipitation. Again, just no strong signals from the models. Looking back at 2023's billion plus dollar weather and climate disasters. There were 28 of them, which I believe is a record. Uh, it's an amazing, it was an amazing year. And I don't, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, and I'll leave you with this picture of Capitola there in Santa Cruz County on December 28th this last year, just about a month ago, when they got hit by some pretty large swells in the area. So always be prepared for the rest of winter and always be prepared so that uh, you know how to and when to respond. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and be good to one another. See you, everybody. Bye.